what do Jimmy Buffett, the Beach Boys, and Donna Robertson have in common? We all love the tropics. Stay tuned. I've got some great tropical fabric to share with you in our quilts. Hi, it's Donna Robertson with Fabric Cafe. Welcome. Today we're going to show you some gorgeous tropical fabrics and some fun patterns and quilts for you to see them in. Now, most of these fabrics are brand new, so we're going to be showing you these with some of our basic quilts. We'll tell you the sizes. We may not have that fabric, but we're going to show you fabrics that will work with it because any three one yard cuts of fabric will work with any one of my patterns. And I've written hundreds of three yard quilt patterns. This is my newest book. It's called Quilts in a Jiffy. It has eight brand new patterns. Every pattern is written for three sizes. You can make a lap quilt with three yards. You can make a twin with six yards, and you can make a queen king with 12 yards. And the instructions are in each of these books for those uh, eight patterns. The books are $15.99, or if you want to get this book free, then all you do is buy three kits, skip taking the little patterns, and you can choose the book free instead. We have 10 to select from. Let's get started now. The first quilt we're going to show you is Dash. We do not have this fabric, but we have some great tropical fabric to show you today. Uh, it has individual blocks here. It's great if you want to do solid colors or a slightly patterned fabric here. But we've got some great beachy kind of fabric that we want you to see in this one. So let's put that one up on the table. And what we have for you is a batik look, but it's with printed fabric. So this is a QT fabric. It's got the turtles on it. Isn't that awesome? So this one is called Oceana Pals. And this is your focus fabric. It goes in the number one spot of your pattern. That would be the largest area of the quilt that you'll see the focus fabric. So that's the turtles. The next two fabrics you'll choose between these, you will choose a light and a dark by comparing those. Every, pat every pattern is written for a focus, a light, and a dark. So we compare these two and we come up with that. So this is your focus fabric. It's going to go where the floral is showing. This is your light. It's going to go in the background here. And then your uh, coral is going to go in the dark spot here. This is going to be one awesome quilt. And this one is... 801107 Oceana Pals. Dash is the pattern that we're recommending. If you're wanting to take a free book, you might consider the easy peasy when you buy three kits. Otherwise, you can get the dash pattern singly. It has just the instructions for the lap quilt. It is a 44 by 58 size quilt. The next one is called Tic Tac. Tic Tac is great for showing off big, bold prints. It's a 10-inch block. I do not have this fabric, and you can look at these snowmen and know that we're not talking about the tropics, but I got something good over here. So let's put that on the table. And this one has ships and sailing vessels. So if you've got somebody in your life that loves to be out on the water, we have... The two, so this is your number one fabric. It has your ships on this one. That's going to go here where the aqua snowmen are. In the number two position is the gray. It will go here. We've done similar prints here in the same way, but you're going to have ships in each one of these. And then you've got your dark fabric, which is going to go as your sashing. This one is called Bay Harbor. It is... Um, using the Tic Tac pattern. It's from the Easy Peasy book. And this is the individual pattern that comes free with the three yards unless you want a book. Then you skip the little pattern and you pick a book instead. Now, this is one of my favorites because I like this block and the way it's really framed out. And we've got some adorable fabric for you on this one. We, we do not have this fabric remaining, but we have some great tropical print. Let's show you that. And I've got pieces and parts to show you how the 
block is made. So here we have flamingos. Cute, cute, cute. This would be so cute at a beach house. So we've got our fun little flamingo. They're going to go right here in this particular block. And let me just take our little flamingos and put it right here to show you how this is going to go together. Now in the book, we have strip piecing. So I'm going to bring this over here. And we tell you to make strips like this, and then you're going to cut those into units. So if we did that, you would be making strip pieces like this. And then we're going to cut the units off of the sides like that. So that is then sewn to the top of your block. And then you sew one to the bottom of the block. And see how I just turned that away around? So those are your units. They're going to be sewn together, cut into units, and then put on the block. And here is your other part to this. We're going to line this up and line this one up. Now, is that not taking shape and looking as bad, as cute as it can be? Now, let's get the cropping tool and show you with everything else blocked out. So we have it here and here. And that is going to be one fun quilt. Now, let's take a closer look at the fabric. So we have our flamingos for our number one. We have... The pink and the green are remaining. You compare those and pick your number two and number three fabrics. And then you start sewing. Now that particular one is in the... I'm looking for my little piece of paper. It's underneath my fabric. That happens when you're sewing. Okay, your kit number is 8021105. Flamingo Frenzy. Town Square is your pattern. It is in the book, Easy Peasy. All right, we'll put these over here. The next one that we're going to show you, the pattern is called 9 plus 1. And 9 plus 1 is a fun one to show off uh, prints in the big block. And then you have a 9 patch right beside. So we'll put that one up here. I do not have that fabric, but we have a great fabric that, again, it's going to make you think of the tropical, tropical punch, this time with some pineapple. Okay, so we have our number one fabric is your pineapple. And again, this is kind of a batik look-alike, but it's actually a printed fabric. So you've got one square of the pineapples here. And then you're going to make your nine patch out of these two. And I love the way you have all that red and orange and blue together in this particular one. So you can see those great colors. It's going to look yummy in this particular quilt. This one is 801104. It's called Hospitality. And the pineapple is the symbol for hospitality. That's why we named it that. And I believe, I think it's North Carolina. If you're from North Carolina, tell me, isn't that like a, a symbol for the state of North Carolina. Nine plus one is your pattern. Quilts for Kids is the book, and you get the pattern free, or you can take any one of my books and use any one of my patterns to make any one of the quilts. The next one is called Picture Perfect. This one is great for a big block, and when I'm using novelties, I like a bigger block because it really shows them off. So we've got a bigger block here. I do not have this fabric. Then you have a framed block right beside it. It goes together really fast. In fact, I've had several people tell me that this is their go-to pattern because they like the way it turns out. We've got some more of that great sea-looking fabric here. We showed you the turtles. Now we have seahorse. Aren't those great? So this will go in your focus fabric. It's your number one fabric. Then for your number two fabric, anytime that you're working with a three-yard quilt, every quilt has three one-yard cuts, and any one of those one-yard cuts can be used in any position. So in this case, 
I wanted the coral to be in the number two position. So everything that says cut it out of number two, I chose the coral, even though it's probably a little darker than this one. You can do that anytime you want to. Just cut everything I say to cut it out of that one position. So we have our fabric one. I chose this for my two and this one for my three. So the little waves are going to be um, going around the coral. And then there's your seahorses. This is great. 8021103 is your kit number. Seahorse Rodeo. Picture Perfect is your pattern. And that one's in quick and easy three-yard quilts. Now, we have three books that are download only. They're no longer available in print. So if you pick one of those, then we will send you a code and you can download that uh, to your computer. Okay, the next one is called... Sweet Times. Sweet Times is it's another one that just goes together so fast, and people have said it's their go-to uh, pattern because you can really show off a fun um, novelty print. I do not have any of the Minnie Mouse right now, but we do have some great tropical fabric for you, so let's look at that. We have some more turtles. Now, this one's a little bit different from the other turtles. This one has the real bright tr tropical colors. I like that. And we have the flowers in the background. What are the lays made out of? What's that flower called? I can't remember what it's called, but it's that little flower there. <laughs> we have our, um, oh, let's look at all the fabrics. That's our number one fabric. It's going to go everywhere there's a big block, and then it gets bordered. So one borders with number three fabric, one with the number two. So you're going to have a yellow border on some of the blocks, and then you're going to have this pink on the other blocks. This one is going to be great. It's another one that would be super for a sun porch, a beach house, a lake house. It would just be great. 8021102, Sea Turtles number two. We've had this before with different fabrics. Yeah. Okay. And then Sweet Times is your pattern. It is found in the Easy Peasy book, or, and you can skip taking the little pattern and get a book free if you buy three kits. Now, the next one, this pattern is called Pretty Please. Again, I don't have this fabric, but we like for you to be able to see the quilts uh, all made up so that you can see the sizing and how it goes together. So this particular one has a bordered block and then a solid block. We'll put that one up here and show you some seashells that would look adorable in this one. Now, I've had people ask me, so we're talking about lap quilts, but what are the sizes? Most of them are about 45 by 60, 44 by 60 in that range. Occasionally, they'll be a little shorter or a little wider because that's how far three yards will go. Now, this is going to be your focus fabric. This is your seashells. That's going to go in all of these larger blocks. Then you're going to have this uh, white that will pick up the creamy white in the shells. That will be your frame here around this great little corally color that's going to go here and on your border. This is going to be really nice. This one is Seaside. 820702 uh, is the kit number. Seaside is the kit name. And Pretty Please is not available in any book. It's an individual pattern only. Now, whenever we show you the quilts, you get an idea of the size of the quilts. Remember, if you buy one kit, you can make one of those. If you buy two kits, you can make a twin. And four kits will make a queen king. We also have Last Chance. Last Chance is whenever we've had some fabrics that... Uh, you've loved and we've sold out, so we're going to share those with you so you can see what's left. There's only two of these left, and these are like, um, I guess, seaweed in a pretty color. <laughs> so we have that as our focus, and then we have, we've got both the greens, the teals, and the blues in this. So we've got this as our number two fabric, and that pretty ocean blue as your number three fabric. So the number is 8021101, Seascape, 
Uh, corner play is the recommended pattern, and that can be found in the Pretty Darn Quick book. So if you're interested in making a twin, there are two of these remaining. Okay, let's see what's next under there. Oh, we've got some starfish. All right, this one is called Beachcomber. And you've got your starfish in different colors. There's a little green, a little blue, a little gray. And then it's got a little polka dot that matches with the greens and the blues and the grays. And then to repeat the little dot in the starfish, we've got some more dots here. So this one would be really sweet in the pinwheel. And I think it would be great if you put all of the starfish out here in the border and then made your pinwheel out of these two. I think that would be adorable. So 8021100 Beachcomber Pinwheel is your pattern. This one is available in Quilt Favorites. There are only two left. Quilt Favorites is a download only book. So if you order uh, three kits and get a book free and you want to take a download book, we will send you a code. Now all of our books are $15.99. Each book comes with eight different patterns and we do have the upsizing and all of our printed copies. So if you're interested in buying a book, $15.99 each, if you're buying kits, three kits will give you one book free. You get to pick the one that you want. Now we've shown you several kits today, but we have many, many more, dozens and dozens of kits on our website. So you might want to check it out at fabriccafe.com. And if you've enjoyed seeing our little fabric parade today, you might just punch that little button below that says subscribe and then hit the bell because that will give you notification every time we do put a new video up. It's Donna Robertson with Fabric Cafe. Have a great day.